Donizetti took a lot of poetic license with the retelling of the Queen's stories. Um, you know, but he's trying to make great theatre. I think that's what counts, and that's what I've taken as my inspiration. Uh, so rather than trying to force this very loose version of the story back into some sort of historical accuracy, which doesn't exist in Donizetti's version, I've decided to take the ball, run with it, and, and just create uh, dramatic theatre. She's been a fascinating character to play, and I've learned a lot about her, and actually about myself. She's so dramatic, and she's so theatrical in the way she speaks, and, and her, all of her music is over the top. And, and um, she's in constant conflict between Elizabeth the woman and Elizabeth the queen. I think this wig is incredible. When I have it on, I feel like it gives me a sense of status. This costume certainly does help you feel like you're the boss. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite empowering. The red and the leather and, of course, the claw. Um, I think it's an absolutely beautiful design. I would probably wear this in real life. The, the, thing, the important things for me was to show the, the, the power that someone like, a person like that exudes. And uh, the only way you can do that really is by developing the reactions of the people around her. So as soon as Elisabetta walks in the room, you know, there has to be, they have to react in a way which shows that that person is really powerful. So that's something, it's, you know, avoiding eye contact falling to their knees. You know, there's all sorts of tricks that you can you can use to to to, em to emphasize that because at the at the end of the day, um, sometimes that the person who is so powerful can just make a small gesture or, or something really really quite subtle and it's the way the people are around that person react to it is, is how you can tell whether that person is really powerful or not. Yeah.